Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Los. Uh, totally different, uh, my two cents. See, I'm not in the car. I'm actually at work. Um, but I was sent this video um, from one of my dudes at uh, facebook.com slash perform bars. Why am I so close? Let's go like this. Anyways, facebook.com slash perform bars. Um, sent me this video, and it, the video is entitled uh, BLM, right? And, um, so of course, you know, Black Lives Matter. Um, not going front. When I first saw the, the title, I was like, uh, this is this is not going to go well. Because, you know, the climate we're in right now, you see cats talk about BLM, Black Lives Matter, and, um, you know, MAGA, you know, whatever, whatever. It's, it's, not, it's never really good. It doesn't end well, right? So my first initial thought was, okay, well, out of respect for the homie, I'm going to watch it. And then you see the thumb, thumbnail, you see the person on there who's rapping, and it's a white cat, right? And I'm just like... Crap, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is how I'm gonna stop my Monday morning off. Like, you know, just mad at white folks. That's what we doing today. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? But uh, so uh, I, you know, so I hesitated, right? So my guy, he first he tagged me in it, and then he's like, "Yo, do a two cents, basically. Or basically, what's your two cents on the, on the situation, whatever?" He didn't necessarily ask me to do what I'm doing right now, but he asked me for my two cents. And anybody knows me, ask for my two cents, you get a two cents. Um, and so I, I kind of went to the side of the warehouse where I'm at, and I just, you know, listened to it. And I gotta admit, from the bottom of my heart, I mean, everything I'm about to say is straight truth. Everything he said in that song was beautifully truthful. Um, <coughs> he it was it, he went on the attack in a sense, not disrespectfully, but yet respectfully attacking black men and women. Um, when you say Black Lives Matter, yet you are doing things in your own way that contradict that statement, right? So. Um, he brings up basically, you know, a lot of black men have uh, a lot of black babies with black women yet don't take care of their babies. That's that's true. That's ridiculous, ridiculously true. Um, talks about black men, not or black women in a sense and men as well. But, uh, you know, leading uh, or, or aborting uh, their black babies. Um, and we abortion is number one um, in, in, uh, for killing African Americans, right? Um, way more than slavery, way more than that, uh, uh, you know, during, during the slavery times, whatever, whatever, whatever. Abortion has destroyed more black lives than any other thing throughout history, right? And so he was 100% with that. Everything he said in that video, I could relate to and say, man, he's killing it. I had nothing, nothing against what he said. Um, his tone was respectful. He he made it very clear that he I mean, you know, he was aggressive with his tone, right? He was very aggressive, but I'ma say aggressive in a if possible, a respectful way of being aggressive. Where he didn't, you know, come at us sideways, but he basically like, yo, I'm mad for y'all. Not necessarily mad at all. And he he basically he's like, Yeah, black lives matter. He agrees, black lives matter. Throughout the whole song, he kept repeating, Yes, black lives matter. I'm with y'all. However, they matter inside the womb as well as outside of the womb. And basically his his a lot of his uh, attack was really against abortion. Um, and I just I loved it. I I love the video, I love the concept, so truth and everything that he said. I, I'm definitely gonna encourage y'all to peep out the video. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to tag it in. I'm at work, so I gotta make this quick. Um, do my best to tag y'all in it uh, or, or put the video down in the description. Um, my only issue, right? Here's my only issue with this video or with the song and everything, right? Is that he's white. And you say, well, that's wrong. No, no, let me explain. Um, uh, let me take it back. I don't say my only issue or my issue at all. I see an issue coming amongst African Americans because he's white, right? So it's, it's like... For whatever odd reason, right? People people want to hear truth from those that understand them, right? Or look like them. So it's it's the weirdest thing, right? You can okay, I have a friend of mine, she's handicapped, right? So she's been handicapped from birth, right? Been in a wheelchair her whole, whole entire life. <coughs> um it's one thing for me to hear a story of hers, right, and then get online and, and you know, talk about how wheelchair accessibility is important and this, that, and the third, and blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, that may touch some ears and some people may be like, okay, cool. But it's a whole different ballpark when it comes from a person who's also in a wheelchair, who's also in struggling, doing, going through what they're going through, what that person's going through so they can relate. So, yo, you feel my pain because you're just like me, right? And so I, my fear with this song is in this video, although everything he said was truthful, Everything he said 
<coughs> was on point. You can't, you really honestly, with a clear heart, can't disagree with anything he said, right? But I see people seeing his skin and automatically saying, because he's not black, he has no right to attack black men, right? And women, right? And so I see that being the downfall. I see people bypassing the beauty in this song, right? I see people bypassing the truth, God-fearing, truthful message in this song and automatically seeing skin tone and said, how dare you, you have no right to speak on this, right? And, and, and that bothers me. I, I can pretty much guarantee you that a lot of backdraft is gonna, back, back, backlash is gonna come because of that. And it's, it'd be different if, I don't know, Shy Lynn, right, or Evangel, or Chris Jones, or, or, you know, Barlow, or whoever, you know what I'm saying, put out a song called Black Lives Matter. Well, Barlow did something, and that's my guy. But, uh, but no, I'm saying, if one of them had put out a song, Black Lives Matter, and in the same sense, right, rap, let's say just take him out and put them in, um, it would have been received. It would be respected, like, yo, that's what's up, because you, you feel me, you, you know me, right? Um, James White, a couple years back, he did a, a, a podcast, and he had made, some some statements about African American men, right? And because their father's not there, they're this, da 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 da. And it wasn't received. It wasn't received well. Out. One, his tone was disrespectful. Um, but it wasn't received. And but here's the thing: it wasn't received. Like I said, same reason. Not because what he said wasn't true. A lot of things he said was, was you know, but a lot of things he said was was truthful, right? <clears throat> what caused it, things not to be received is because the question of thought process for a lot of people was, who's this white dude coming at me like this, right? That's my point with this here. I feel as if some people are going to say, who's this white dude disrespecting my black people like this and just automatically missing the point he's trying to convey. Um, shout out to the homie, man. I I enjoyed it. It was true. It, I'm a black man that believes Black Lives Matter and I support my kids and treat love my wife. And you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm diligent in all that I do um, with my family, but I felt convicted. You know what I'm saying? Like, like dad, like, do I live my life in such a way where I prove that black lives matter in and outside of the womb, right? And, and man, it's a dope song, very convicting song. But my fear is that it will be received in the wrong light. You know what I'm saying? So uh, my two cents on the song, dope. His style was cool. Um, uh, style was, he was fast with it, um, slowed down with it. Um, I like the I like the whole camera angles and everything. I think, I think, man, he did a really good job on the song. I mean, I'm sure I, you can find some, you know, nitpicky stuff, but um, I would encourage anybody that's black or it's anybody in general watching this, watch it, to watch that video um, to please bypass what you're seeing, right? Please get away from what your eyes are showing you and open your ears and your heart and hear what this man is saying. This man is saying, if you really believe that black lives matter, all the way believe black lives matter. God has made black men, black women, <coughs> beautifully in the wombs of their mothers. And when they're in the womb, they should be respected and their lives should matter as well as when they're outside the womb. Hands down, mad respect, mad love. Homie, keep it doing, keep going, keep doing what you're doing. Um, but yeah, it's sad, but yeah, I, I can see it happening though. But anyways, let me get back to work here. But uh, love y'all, please check out the song. Um, let me hear what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think about it, for real. Like I said, I love it, I think it was dope. Everything he said was on point. Um, I don't, I didn't really, here's the one thing, I didn't hear it, I only heard it one time. I was I'm at work, so I didn't get a chance to really dig into it. But thoughts crossed my mind, so listen, like, yo, I gotta put this out real quick. Um, Maybe if I hear it more, I'll, put, I'll do a part two, and then maybe he did mess up on here, mess up on there. I, I don't know at this point, but I'm saying right here, right now, what I did here, I loved, I enjoyed, and I encourage um, you guys to check it out as well. Um, yeah, that's my two cents for right now. All right, y'all. Grace.